Hello, welcome. Spare me two minutes. Let's provide answer to this question. Calculus one revision differentiation. What's see 2012 question 15. If y is equals to x plus 2 square, then multiply by x square plus 5 in one bracket. We have to find the y dx. We have to differentiate this with respect to x. So let's see how we can go about this y is equals to x plus 2 squared x squared plus 5 we can see that this is two terms that are multiplying because of this square we can just leave it as a product of two terms this and this your u and v so using product rule the direct one we'll be following the direct approach so here Using the product rule, our dy dx is going to be the differentiation of this and this directly. First thing, we hold the first term, which we are taking as u. The whole of this with a square is what we are taking as u. So we hold the u, we differentiate the, the v, meaning... I will have my x plus 2 all squared. Then I am now going to differentiate the second term, which is x squared plus 5. There is no power here. So per recall, we know that if I have, let's just say we have our recall. If I have y equals to x exponent n, then differentiating with respect to x means that let the power come forward to multiply then we subtract one from the power or we reduce the power by one so if that is the case same is going to happen here two is coming forward to multiply to give us two x two x square minus one will give you one the one is there if we differentiate any constant you get zero so this is what we are going to have. Hold the first term, differentiate the second term. Good. Then, plus. We are now going to hold the second term and differentiate the first one. We don't have the space, so let's have plus x squared plus 5. Then, we differentiate this. How do we differentiate function of function? Two terms raised to the power. So, we also know that if I have y equals to this a function in this form then your dy dx will be let the n comes to multiply the ax plus b reduce the power by one as a normal differentiation then multiply by d dx of ax plus what b we are now going to differentiate the terms in a bracket so fast forward, we bring in the power to multiply. So the power here is 2. So 2 is coming to multiply, right? The x plus 2, we reduce this power by 1. We get this as 1. Then now we go into the bracket times. So this is the multiplication. Let me use the dot to show the multiplication. The bracket also does the same thing. So now we are differentiating the terms in the bracket. Meaning entering this bracket, I'm having x plus what? 2. This is a constant which will give you 0. You differentiate this. The power of 1 will come forward to multiply. 1 minus 1, 0. x exponent 0 is what? 1. So we have this 1. Let me just use this. Don't forget we are having it as complete multiplication. So let's go ahead with that i'm going to expand this one square mean multiply itself two times so our dy dx become x plus 2 times x plus 2 in this very sense the square then we multiply by our 2x plus i think we need a bigger board the body is not big enough. Here, we can see this one will multiply 2. Will still give us 2. Multiplying this. So, we'll be having 
I think I have x squared plus 5, then 2 multiplying x plus 2. I believe you can get this one clear. 1 times 2, 2 in front of x plus what? 2. That 2 is in front. So what do we do? Let's expand the first 2 and multiply it by the third one. There are two things there. So our dy, dx will become x times x. That will be x squared, x times 2. That will be 2x. Then we pick the second term, 2 times x. 2x, right? Then the final one will be 2 times 2, which in that case will give us what? 4. All this is still multiplied by the 2x, the very 2x we are having there. Then plus. You can see this is a bracket, so let's use this 2 to multiply. So I'll first have my x squared plus 5, then 2 times x, 2x, 2 times 2, 4. So this is also a bracket to be expanded. I can see the middle two terms here are like terms. x to the power 1. So my dy, dx still remain as x squared, 2x plus 2x give us 4x. So we have plus 4. Okay, we could have also multiplied. Okay, let's maintain that. I think we have enough space. So this will become 2x multiplying this. Then plus. Let me take care of this. Let's say x squared times 2x squared. x, x. When they multiply, their power increases. So we're having 2 x to the power 3. This is power 1, power 2. We add. Then the same multiplying this give us 4x squared, as in this multiplying this. Then plus 5 times 2. Then the x will come 5 times 4. That will give us 20. I guess we need a bigger board. Right? So, maintaining our dy, the x, if I multiply this, the x will be increasing. So, I have 2x to the power 3, 2 times 2, 2 times 4, 8, x times x, x squared, 2 times 4 again will be 8x. Let's maintain what again, do we have any like terms? Power 3, power 2, power 1, 0, so no like them. So let's increase this by saying 3, it will be 2, right? 2x two to the power 3 plus 4x squared, 10x plus 20. Do we have any common factor? Any common factor? Power 3, power 3, right? So 2x squared, I equip, 2x cubed. There are two of them. Just take this award. Apple. This is also apple. Two apple plus two apple will give you four of the apple. Therefore, dy dx will become 4x to the power 3. Then this is power 2, power 2. So we can take this as pencil. 8 pencils plus 4 pencils will be giving us 12 of those pencils. So 12x squared. I have this as x to the power 1 to the power 1. So, 8 mangoes plus 10 mangoes will give us 18 mangoes. Do we have any other common factor? No. So, we have our 20 in there. So, the dy dx we are asked to find is nothing but 4x cubed plus 12x squared plus 18x plus 20 plus 20. Right. I guess we are together following it from the beginning, taking your time to go through step by step, you'll be able to arrive at the same answer. If you have any other method to arrive at this, feel free to share that with us in the comment section as we get interactive. Share, like, and comment.
拜拜。